Hello, today's Bible study comes from 1 Thessalonians, the fourth chapter, verses 17. No, I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> verses 15 and 16, and they read as follows. According to the Lord's word, we tell you that we who are still alive, who are left until the coming of the Lord, will certainly not precede those who have fallen asleep. For the Lord himself will come down from heaven with a loud command, with the voice of the archangel and the trumpet call of God, and the dead in Christ will rise first. Woo! So, if, if I could say anything before we started off, those that are asleep, those that are dead, still have a victory if they are asleep in Christ. And he says, by the word of the Lord, he starts it off right away. He starts in verse 15. He starts off, according to the Lord's word. This is guaranteed. It's a promise. The Lord has never broken a promise. And he says, according to the Lord's word, we tell you that we who are still alive, who are left until the coming of the Lord, will certainly not precede those who have fallen asleep. Uh-oh. This means that those who are sleeping, the Lord will not be at a disadvantage and the ones that are living will not be at an advantage see those who are here that will be here when the Lord comes won't go before those that have already been asleep God is going to let everybody who has believed in him, been faithful and obedient, share in the glory of him returning. And if I could just put it in layman's terms, that means the ones that are alive and the ones that are dead will see, will be up, will be looking at the coming of the Lord. So we don't have an advantage because we live in when the Lord comes because if I'm gone and my children or my grandchildren or great-grandchildren are alive, I will be there to see the glory of the Lord returning. Alive or asleep, we will all see this. And, and Paul is emphatic when he says this. And, and we are who are alive. Paul is telling them. Expect this to happen. Know that this will happen. And then he tells you. As you continue on. For the Lord himself. He, he's telling you. How the Lord is coming for the Lord himself will come down from heaven. And we were just reading in Revelation where the Lord sends out the angel to tell Jesus. Now, so for the Lord himself will come down from on high with a loud command. Uh-oh. Speaking of them trumpets and angels and the jobs they have. And with the voice of an archangel. Probably Michael. And that just means Jesus ain't coming alone, y'all. He bringing some folks with him. The thing is, we know about the trumpet of God. And it will sound. This trumpet will, trumpet will sound. And it is 
an announcement of divine acknowledgement of who is coming. And he says, and the dead in Christ first will rise. Like I said, they won't be left out. And guess what? They're going to be first to see it. They're going to be first to experience it. Remember, they have to... It's only after they, the faithful ones, leave here with the Lord that the ones that are living are caught up to be with him. To meet him. So, in other words, the sequence of events will first be the asleep in Christ. Then the ones that are alive will follow. So they don't, they don't leave. They will rise first and they will not be at a disadvantage. We all will share in the glory of the Lord returning. Amen.